Hi again everybody, this is Andrew, and I am casting a game between Caramel and Duncan Run. Now this is the first game in a best of three series in a round one of our round robin tournament, uh, StarCraft II tournament from Pennsylvania. It's a group of nine of us who will all be playing against each other in a best of three series taking part it's going to last quite a bit of time. We gave everyone a week to finish their games just so they'd have enough time. Again, all players ranging from bronze to gold league. And I'm going to be casting as many games as I get the replays from. Possibly even a few live games if I can get to be a spectator on a few of them. As we see Duncan Run coming out, he's going to go for the early barracks. Duncan Run, our green Terran buddy up north. Again, Caramel, the red Zerg player to the south. Now, let's just check this out. Duncan Run, I haven't seen too much of his play, so I'm not familiar with his current skill level. Uh, but he is going to be bringing down this barracks, and he gets the supply depot on 11. So that might stockpile a little bit of money. He's also going for the refinery on 11. So he's getting... <laughs> Barracks on 10, Supply Depot on 11, and he goes for the Refinery on 11 as well. So let's just check everything out. And Caramel does get an early extractor. Look for him to put down the spawning pool sometime soon. Caramel is one of the newest players. He had just gotten this game. Has a few practice games under his belt against the computer. But that's the extent of his experience, so I'm interested to see how he will play, how he will fare against Duncan Run. Duncan Run getting one Marine just to get a little bit of a safety window, and then putting down the Tech Lab on his barracks. And he's getting a few more, uh, sorry, he's getting the Command Center. Whew, excuse me. Getting a little tired. And putting down the Mule. He stopped productions on the regular SCVs as he's getting a second refinery. So possibly look for some Reaper play. What is Duncan run? He decides to go for the Marauder. So possibly get some early infantry and I would assume he would tech up with these two early refineries. So let's just look for that and we'll go down to Caramel. He's getting an early evolution chamber. He loves these early upgrades. Um, He's a strong advocate of that. I think it might be a little too early, as you do want to get a few, a, a, a slight army built up before you start teching up with the upgrades. But we may see it work for him early in the game. He does have two Zerglings on the field. Hopefully, he will scout his opponent sometime soon. Looks like both of them are just amassing their armies, uh, waiting for the other one to attack. And we do see that Duncan Run is opting for the, the sorry, he's going for the factory. So maybe see some tank play, maybe some Hellions. Might even try and tech up and get an early Banshee as he did get these two refineries very early. He still hasn't been building too many SCVs. Let's take a look at the unit uh, SCVs. He has 12 versus Caramel's 19 worker drones. So that is going to give Caramel the early advantage. He's finishing up the Zergling speed. And he is going for Lair Tech. So possibly going for Aspire early on. He might get some Hydralis. Who knows? I think actually the Hydralis will work better with these early, early upgrades. So possibly Hydralis, but we'll have to just wait and see. He has this Queen. I'd like to see him put a little Larva Inject there. Come on, Queen. There it is. Good job, Caramel. And Duncan Run is getting the extractor. Or, sorry, <laughs> he is getting the reactor onto his factory. So, we are going to see some Hellions coming out onto the field. Those absolutely roast Zerglings, especially in big numbers like this. So, it could be the right play, even though Duncan Run is blindly transitioning into this Hellion play. He is going to be quite happy when he sees. Caramel's base, and it's all Zerglings thus far. Um, let's go back to the production tabs, and we'll check out what everyone has so far. Caramel is a little bit ahead. 
in the drone department, but that mule is probably going to be helping Duncan Run stay up with, keep up with the economy. And just more Zerglings coming out. The lair has come out with an infestation pit finishing. So we may see some infestors on the field. I haven't seen Caramel use these in the past, so it'll be interesting to see how he puts them to his advantage. Uh, I'm not too sure. Let's see. Has he gotten any of the upgrades? Pathogen glands not going down near our parasite. Nothing being upgraded for them, so... Let's just have to wait and see. Any any of Infestors in the production tab? No, looks like just more Zergling. And he is getting the ground carapace. Looks, and these Zergling did take out the rocks down here at the high yield expansion. So maybe he's deciding to go ahead and expand as he's going for the hive. So we may see Ultralis coming out onto the field. I don't know. Maybe Duncan Run could be in some trouble if those ultralis come out as caramel does decide he wants to take that high yield expansion neither of the players have scouted so taking any of these expansions should be pretty safe caramel hasn't seen any early aggression so he has to be a little bit wary of what his opponent currently has and again still no infestors coming out for caramel I don't know exactly what he's going for. He might just be going straight to these Ultras. But Duncan runs, looking to mount an attack early on. And does he see... I know I saw that one Hellion there, and it did see this expansion. So we'll just have to wait and see if Duncan Run wants to try and take out the expansion early, or just go in for the kill with all these Zergling. But again, he doesn't know what his opponent actually has as far as uh, units to it. To attack against and he does opt to take out the expansion this is going to be a free kill caramel needs to move out these zerglings but again after seeing all of those hellions hmm, excuse me he's got to be pretty wary of these zerglings just getting roasted and here they come oh he has about 50 zerglings and they are getting annihilated by these hellions are just the flames are destroying those zerglings and that was a very one-sided battle and there is just the remnants of roasted zerglings Ugh, I love it as looks like Duncan runs just gonna go straight for the main base there's only six zerglings defending and he doesn't have he has that high but he just doesn't have any other tech all he has is these zerglings to depend on and they are getting roasted by each of these hellions the queen coming out to try and attack. This looks like it will be good game. The first game going to Duncan Run in the best of three series. And I believe the next map is going to be Desert Oasis. So I'll just speed it up the rest of this game. Uh, Caramel saying, well done. Well played. <laughs> Your blind strategy worked perfectly. Oops, and I'm jumping around. So we'll end it right there, folks jumping into game two on Desert Oasis.